Hi, I'm Shani, and my life is one big, unexplainable adventure. I travel around to seek out haunted and abandoned places to document the unknown for yours and my entertainment needs. From haunted graveyards to contacting evil demons on the Ouija board to housing possessed dolls that come alive at night and when I'm not pissing off Tom, my demonic clown doll I will most definitely be exploring the Thames and Cyprus coastlines with my giant magnet in the search for my lost pirate treasure Subscribe to my crazy life to become a part of my unexplainable adventures. St Lawrence Church lies 300 feet above Hellfire Caves, situated in an Iron Age fort. The Hellfire Caves, a place partly known for secret devil worship and seductive parties, lies directly beneath the church. Placed at the top of the church's bell tower is a wooden golden ball. This can actually seat six people inside and was reputed to be a meeting place for the Hellfire Club. The mausoleum was built by Sir Francis Dashwood, Lord La Dispenser, 1708 to 1781, creator of the Hellfire Club. The foundations were built from local flint in 1765 by John Bastard, the younger of Blandfold. The pedestal and urn in the centre of the mausoleum are dedicated to the wife of Sir Francis Dashwood, Lady Le Dispenser. Sir Francis Dashwood built the mausoleum to house the memorials of his friends and family. It is still in ownership of the Dashwood family to this day. What's up guys? Welcome back to another unexplainable adventure here with Shani. Now I've brought you to a very, very special place. It's one of the top most haunted places around England. Yes, I have come all the way 
to West Wickham. And as you can see behind me right here, we have got the very beautiful and very haunted St. Lawrence Church. Now all around the church and all around me here, there is hundreds upon hundreds of very old grey stones. Now, before I carry on, I do have a very special guest here with me. Yes, you've all been asking for this particular person to come out and join me on an investigation. Now, she's looking at me very weird because I may or may not have said to her that I was taking her and my dad to somewhere for their anniversary gift. Yes, um, I kind of left out the fact that we was coming somewhere haunted. Yeah, so um, if you don't know who it is, I'm gonna bring her in now. Come on over. She does not look happy at all, guys. It's my mum. Yes, yes, come on in, come on in, come on. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm sorry that I failed to let you know what we was actually doing, but we're gonna have a good night anyway. Are we? Yes, yeah. yes, we are. We've, um, have we're all- Have you found yourself somewhere to live yet? No, no, mm. I haven't. Um, mm. Probably got about eight hours left to find somewhere. Oh, shoot. Um, well, I best make this uh, um, a memorable anniversary gift for, mm. for you and Dad then. My dad's not very happy. Uh, he's gone back to the car. So um, <laughs> we're, uh, we're going to actually go around and have a, have a look at some of the really old graves. And we're, we're actually going to do some experiments. Pardon? Uh, yes, I also failed to, to tell you that. Yeah, we're going to see if we can contact some spirits here at St. Lawrence Church tonight. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Actually... I'm going to go back to the I've, car. <laughs> I've got a really good idea, Mum. What? Do you remember when you was watching Ghost Adventurers? Yeah. Um, when he was doing his little ghost hunt and he did that experiment where he plugged in the headphones to the necrophonic and blindfolded himself yeah. and somebody else was asking questions and you know a lot was coming through and they got really really scared yeah yeah we're gonna do that tonight on your own <laughs> Okay, well, we're, we're going to go around. We're going to see what oh, we can capture oh, here oh, tonight. Pray for me. Um, actually, pray for my mum. <laughs> and then pray for me on finding a new home. Yeah. Oh. See you in a bit, guys. Oh. Is it a child's one? No. Mm, memory of our dear parents, Ellie May Hall, dies 11th of July, 61. Age 41, Norman James Hall died 28th, age 58, reunited. <laughs> Obviously, oh, he's got five or something. So, um, so I just made a complete fool of myself. Um, we're walking around having a little look at all the headstones and stuff, and my mum goes to me, Shan, quick, come over here, look, there's a headstone that says Styles. Me being me, did jumping for joy and went, oh my God, what Harry Styles? My mum looks at me and said, no, Chantelle, our family styles. Of course, it's not going to be Harry Styles, is it? What an idiot. <laughs> you can always trust me to say something stupid. Right, okay, yeah. let's get back to it. What have you found? Oh, wow. William Joyson. Died March 11th, 1827, aged 75 years. Oh, wow. And Elizabeth, wife of the above, died June the 17th, 1828, 1829, 1820, 1825, aged 64 years. Wow. These are usually family ones, so there's some more here. Look, Mary Joyson um, died 1842. Oh, age nine. Oh, bless. 
Martha Joyson, 1832, age 17. Oh my goodness, that's so young. Well, they, it, back then, you know, there's lots of diseases and things and that, weren't they? Wait, Mum, can you, can you hear that music box? Pardon? Can you hear a music box? Yeah. Pardon? Can you hear a music box? Yeah. I can hear someone shouting, but that's over the back. Yeah, so sorry about the background noise, guys. There's a lot of youngsters um, boozing it up at the memorial site, you know, as you do. But I can definitely hear a music box in the background. Now, it could be someone's music because there are people no, you can hear playing the bass. cars. You can hear bass coming that way and that way. But there's a ding, ding, ding. Like a, like a music box. Yeah, like a little wind up thing. Yeah. It's really weird. Yeah, okay. that one there has got some more Joysons in it. And so there's probably about eight to ten people in this one. That's absolutely that crazy. One. Like, you don't really get to see these types of, this one's of even stones bigger. anymore. Yeah, look at this one. Really faded. 1821, 1802. Joyson again. This is all Joyson. That's a lot Look, of Joyson family, yeah. Joyson, see it? Joyson, Joyson. Uh, Joyson, Joyson down there. Wow. They, they must have been. Um, Literally, a really big family in this area. Yeah. Because I bet you there's, on the end of this, there's more names as well. There's some more around this side. J-O-H, I can make out. That's about it. So again, that's got to be a Joyce in as well. Each side's got anything about four to six people they are Joyson Thomas Joyson son of Samuel and Anne Joyson January 1803 but there's another Joyson there's Ma Meredith and a M Mabel they're both Joysons as well yeah. so there's a there's ever such a lot of Joysons in this graveyard. But they, uh, some of them have got double barreled bar man. This one, memory of Samuel Joyson. He was mentioned around that side because he was the son of Samuel Joyson. Seventeen eighty nine. Wow. Did you hear that? I heard something. I wasn't moving. No, he was reading that. So there's a lot of there's a lot of Joysons here. So a lot of family family burials. I tell you what would be good is um in minute we whack out the necrophonic and um, see if we can actually communicate, 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 communicate with any of the Joysons. Is that, do you think that's great granddad of Harry Styles? No. Ernest George Styles. That's 76, so that's quite a new one. 1885 to 1979. Oh, you're to a ripe old age. Wow. What, 94, that one? Wow. Oh, crikey. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's a bright light. So how do you feel, Mum? <laughs> very clever, very clever. How how would you feel if we settled in between these tombs? Um in between is it the Joysons, did you say? Yeah, in between the Joysons and see if we can get anything on the necrophonic. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're going to do that. We'll be right back. Okay, so me and Mum's about to do the necrophonic challenge now. So we're sat in between the two tombs. What would you call them? They're just, um, well, they are just tombs. Yeah. So it's the Joysons tombs. Um, there was like Elizabeth, Albert, uh, there was a few names Ernest, that were Ernest, Samuel. Samuel. Mum's well good at remembering stuff. So um, we're going to see if we can, can communicate with the Ernests. So, uh, yep, let's start. <sighs> Hello, is there anybody here with us? I think that said hi. Are there any of the Joysons here? Yes. yes. Hi, how are you? Oh, sorry. Hiya. Where is everybody? We... We are between two of your um, graves, where there's quite a lot of your family buried. Are you happy where you are? Ernest? Did that say Ernest? Ernest, is that you? Yes. It's him. How are you? Tell their mum. Okay. There's quite a lot of you buried in St. Lawrence's. Are you are you happy you're together? Are you okay? Yeah, don't like it. <laughs> You ask me questions, I don't like it. How many of you are here? If any of the Ernest family are here, can you say Ernest? Jesus. Is that what he said? Be quiet. Sorry. I'm sorry if I'm shouting, I know you're trying to rest. We come with the greatest, most respect. You're welcome. We just would like to know if the Ernests are here with us tonight. Ernest isn't here. It's Juice, uh, Juice isn't it? That was his first name, Ernest. Oh. Does so it pray to God? Who's here with us tonight, please? Alfie. Jew. It said he's with, and then it said something. It said get out. Get out. Would you like us to leave? Leave. Leave, okay. Okay, we'll we'll leave you alone now. Thank you for coming through. Goodbye. Rest well. That said Tom.
We all know who Tom is. Oh, Tom. Tom. Okay. <laughs> so, Tom's. mum is experiencing Tom for his first for her first time. Okay, Tom, you have to leave. Tom, Tom died. All right, Tom, you have to leave. You cannot stay here. Okay, so we're gonna go now. If there is any spirits around that have communicated with us, you must stay here and you're not allowed to follow us home or attach yourselves to us or any of the equipment. Bye. Bye. Sleep Bye. well. Okay, Bye. goodbye. <laughs> okay, so that was a bit weird. Um trying to communicate with the family and then Tom comes through. Of course oh, he does. Okay, so that just made a noise and it's not even started. You all heard that right. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna keep that off for a second. We're gonna be resp we're gonna be resp we're gonna be res we're gonna be respectful and we're gonna leave. I feel respectful and we're gonna leave. I feel respectful and we're gonna leave. I feel like the the families that are resting here are trying to rest. Okay, so we're gonna make our way back round to the front. We are gonna go very shortly because I really don't want to be disrespectful to anybody that is trying to rest here and you know. So we're gonna head back over to the front. Catch you in a second. God, this place is, it's just so huge. Yes. Can you see over there? There's something. Wait, where? Where? That, um, where we was just at. In between, you, you've got that tree. Yeah. There's something red over there. No, can, shut up. Can you, get, can you get it on yours? No, I can't. It's just like a red dot. Look, I'll see if I can try it. Yeah, take a picture. Okay, so mum's mum's saying that she can see like a red it's dot like, or oh yeah, look, look, look on my phone. It's just Wait. there. Wait, okay, so mum's just taking a picture. There's a, it's just in between. Right. Wait, let's see if we can see it. Damn, bloody blind, gonna be blind me. So what? Just can you still see it now? It's what does it what does it look like? I can't see it on my camera. It's not picking it up. What 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 what? What the hell is that? It's under the tree. Are you okay? Yeah, I don't like it. I did. Oh my god. Just, what? That looks like a face in it. <gasps> it just looks like I a... can see the I can see the face. Right guys, can it just it's just like a little red dog, so I thought it was an animal, but there's only one, it's not two, so it's not a pair of eyes. Right. So, and it's pitch black, and it's just in where we was. You got the two, the two. Oh God, I can't breathe. The two. Um. Uh, what are they called the, the the graves the the tombs tombs. Right. You got that tree. It's at the base of that tree. I've, I've zoomed in because it was just a tiny red dot. So I've zoomed right in, and it's come out like that. Now, yeah, you it's can... like two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. Yes, I can, can see, see that. Oh my gosh! And the fact that we've just done that spirit box as well, and it told us to get out, and it told us to get out, and it told us to get out. That doesn't look right. I want to go home now. Um, I would like to say yes, but can you see that on there? Can you see it as clear as what you can see it on my phone? Yeah, yeah. See, and you could definitely see, see yours that face. Is, on yours, it's it's glowing up yellow, where mine is oh, red. Oh, you're right, yeah. Mine's red with black. Yours is... So all this yellow, guys, on here, that's not actually on the picture. For some reason, that it, that's just on my phone that it's glowing up yellow. 
What does that mean, though? See, mine... Why is it glowing? Where, where your that? yellow bits are, mine is red. It's just red, and yeah. And then you've got the black bits where your red bits are. So what does and that, that mean? that looks like a face. Right, guys, leave it... Drop a comment um, down below. Comment um, down below. Comment um, down below. And let me know what that means. And let me know what that means. And let me know what that means. What, 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 what? We are standing on top of the Hellfire Cave. <gasps> we the, we do, the are directly above. The church is directly above the caves which are right down underneath because the caves were built guys underneath the church to represent heaven and hell that was just a car horn in the background sorry about that guys but yes the the caves were actually built underneath the church so it represented heaven and hell so you had the good happening so you had the good happening so you had the good happening from above um and then there was uh like parties and um well you, <laughs> exactly there was there was just so much that happened we was gonna down go below down there, but it's close at the moment we can yeah. drive around and get a picture of the entrance for them, yeah like later what was that did you hear that i thought i heard something was it like like a click yeah. wasn't it click. it wasn't grass someone's no grass. it wouldn't be grass that would have crunched but that face, Chantel, I, I didn't even think that we was right. And the fact that it's red as well, like you say, the hellfire caves. The hellfire. Is it still there? I can't, I can't no. see. Do you want to go over? No. Oh. Are you stupid? Yes. No. Yes, I am. No, I don't want to go over. I'm going to fall over. Careful. That, that was just at that. You can, you can go walk over there. I'll show you where it is. I said that. That really would make sense. Like so the fact that Mum caught an orb and it's it's shown up red and very fiery looking, and the fact that we are above the Hellfire Caves. Like, does that mean something? Like, it, is that mean something? Like, it, it, that mean something? Like, it, is it just a coincidence? But I swear, if you look very, very closely at that circle or whatever you want to call it, I personally can see a face. You can see the eyes, you can see the nose, and you can see a mouth as well. I mean, pause the video. I mean, pause the video. I mean, pause the video. I mean, pause the video now if you want to go back, have a look for yourself. Want to go back, have a look for yourself. Want to go back, have a look for yourself. Um, I'll try and take a still picture of it. I will put it up in the video so you can take a look. But make sure that you leave a comment as well in the comments and let me know if you see anything at all in that red orb we're gonna go over to where mum took the picture where she could see the red orb and see if we can see anything let's go right, this is where we did the thing in between these two trees. yeah so we've just done the necrophonic right here. right here and see the tree here in front of us sort of like where that bit of the tree is so here's the tree I'll can only you. just I'll see it it's so where, dark where it was. I'm being brave now, oh she is i mean send her lots of love and support in the comments guys because she's here. being so brave right now it was here. oh my god this so, is not the creepiest tree you've ever seen is it it, it was around about here because at first when i looked at it yeah i thought that it was low to ground uh -huh. and i thought it was eyes but then i realized there was only one yeah and as i zoomed in i lost it and then my camera ended up pointing up here right so it was there sort of around about here yeah so there, there is no animal that is going to be here no no um, i mean we haven't we haven't heard any animals either mm -hmm. um i mean every now and again we're kind of like hearing footsteps and stuff but again you but know there are people around. around and and stuff like that but there's definitely no animals be no animals be no animals be no animals what did you what was that? What was that? Oh, I can hear footsteps as well. Mum, I'm not even moving. I'm not even moving. And I just heard footsteps right behind me. Well, I'm not bloody going behind Shh, 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 shh. Oh, my God. What the hell? Um, right, so... So it's just me and my mum here. My dad doesn't do stuff like this. He's in the car. He's waiting for us. He ain't coming out here. He doesn't... 
He he doesn't like the whole like paranormal I side to it. I don't like your anniversary <laughs> present, Chantal. Can Why not? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Right. We're gonna head back. We was gonna spend a little bit more time here, guys, but there is quite there's a few people over in the car park and like causing havoc and everything. And to be fair, there's a lot of creepy creepy stuff going on in this graveyard right now and yes you all know that i am pretty brave but i'm not feeling brave right now but what is that 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 mum <gasps> I just, I just heard a breath. I just heard a breath. I heard a breath. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I can hear, I can hear footsteps and I can hear breathing. Guys, you've got to let me know if you can hear anything at all. Let me know down in the comments. Any, if you hear anything in the background. Um, don't forget that there is, there is cars and... No, but there ain't people, people were breathing in our ear rolls. Yeah, exactly. And that was a deep, deep breath. <laughs> Mum's got a hold on me. <laughs> right, okay. Right, I'm going to turn the camera around, the light round, so we can see where we're going. And we're going to head out of here. Um, I don't think that we're going to do the experiment, but don't worry. We will come back and we will do the so experiment we can another go time. Down and show them the entrance when we drive out of the Hellfire Cave. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll yes, like Mum just said, we'll show you the Hellfire Caves um, as we go out of this place. We're going to come back another time. I don't feel safe. My Mum doesn't feel safe here either. There's definitely something walking around us, breathing. It doesn't sound happy. It doesn't. It doesn't sound positive whatsoever. It actually it feels so so negative here right now. I don't like it at all. Um, I'm really really sorry if you all wanted to see that experiment, but don't worry. I will come back. I I will do the experiment with my mum. Let's not say that too loud. <laughs> but we will do the experiment another time. Um, I've also got... Um, can you hear? Can you hear? Can you hear? Can you hear? Okay, it's time to go. It is, it's time to go. I'm going to get myself out of here. I'm going to get my mum out of here as well. My dad is not going to believe the stories about tonight in here. This is absolutely crazy. Uh, we're going to do a lights out challenge as well at some point. And if you want to see my mum join in with the lights out 30 minute alone challenge, then let me know down in the comments. We're going to head back to the car. I'll see you back there. Okay, so me and mum are on our way back out now. We're just going to... <laughs> there's, there's nothing, Mum. Tell me, was that you? Don't Did be so stupid? Right. Okay. Silly. Oh God, I'm gonna fall over. I just want to go home. All right, all right. We're, we're gonna go now, right? We're gonna we're making Shall our way back what? to the car. You've got to remember, I, I don't have life insurance. What? I don't have life insurance. Oh, shh, 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 shh. oh my God! <laughs> Okay guys, so it is time for us to say goodbye. My mum is pooping her pants, I'm pooping my pants, and honestly, I I do not feel like any positive vibes or anything from this place. Now I don't know whether it's because tonight it is it's the full moon. I didn't tell you at the beginning, but we are literally here right now filming. It's it's almost midnight. It's it's coming very, very close to midnight. I think we've got about five minutes to go. Our plan was was to be here and to do experiments for when the full moon came, um, which I think this year is called the flower moon or something. Um, I know that things are meant to hype up a lot, lot more, especially with it being midnight, which is the witching hour. Um, once again, I apologize, but there's no way. There's, there's no way that we're going to stay here. Um, we don't feel safe. Um, I'm hoping that with us doing the spirit box, we didn't 
um, anger anybody or or bring anything negative our way. Me and my mum are going to say a quick prayer as well before we leave. Um, we're going to make sure that no one follows us home or attaches themselves to any of our equipment or to us. So before I go, I just want to say thank you so much everybody that's joined us for this unexplainable adventure. As you know, every single day, every adventure is an unexplainable one. So from myself, Shani, and from my mum, who is currently crying in the co co Yeah? Okay, we've got to go. Mum's hearing stuff over there. So I'm going to go. Thank you so much for, for joining us on this adventure. And until next time, guys, way out. Okay guys, just before I leave, I had to show you this. Now, as I've been saying to a lot of people that I'm coming to the Hellfire Caves. Now, of course, unfortunately, because of COVID, they're not open, but I wanted to show you. Look at this. How wonderful. So this is the Hellfire Caves directly behind me and where we was at St. Lawrence Church just now up on the top of the hill, that's directly above. So as I said before, they they made the caves um, to represent heaven and hell. So here it is, this is the Hellfire Caves and uh, don't worry guys, we're definitely, definitely going to be coming back um, as soon as they are open. So please make sure that you like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any adventures and of course so you don't miss out on our investigation that is going to be here at the Hellfire Caves. Thank you.